Here are four easy ways to spice up your gameplay. Presented by Fortnite Master. One of the best things about Fortnite is how often it's updated with new items and mechanics. That also means that players are constantly finding new and fun tricks. This video covers four of those new and easy ways to improve your gameplay, including a fun trick for baiting opponents into their demise, a new way to phase into someone's box, and more. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. This one takes a little setup, but trust us when we say it's hilarious when it works out. Credit to Martaz for this trick. You can check out his social link along with those of every other person credited in the description below. Before starting, make sure you have a couple of valuable items and enough brick or metal to build a full box for yourself. We would stay away from wood for building your box because it would be too easy to see through. Choose one corner and drop a couple of valuable items like shields, a good gun, or desirable traps like campfires or launch pads. Also, drop one of each material so it looks like there's a stack of wood, brick, and metal. Now, you want to edit the corner of the cone where you dropped the loot and edit the corner of the two walls in front of it. This way, the loot goes under the cone while you stay on top and the other players can see the loot. The last step is a little tricky the way Martaz originally did it. He would edit the floor above, get his pyramid to one hit, jump, and immediately destroy it. Then, reset the floor above him at the perfect time so he could hide in the roof. We figured some of our viewers might have trouble pulling this off consistently, so we found a slightly easier way to do this. You want to stand on your pyramid, then edit and reset the floor above you so your head is barely phasing through the piece. Look down and get the pyramid to one shot. Then, on the last hit, press forward and jump at the same time. Finally, swing your pickaxe to destroy the pyramid. If you keep falling back down instead of landing on your floor, make sure you're jumping towards the very center of the box. It can be hard to line it up exactly with the third person camera though, so try centering yourself while holding edit so you can see where your head is in reference to the center. And if you're not getting a full jump or it feels like you're lagging down, try destroying your pyramid a split second later. After you get this part, the setup is complete. Now, just hold an edit on your pyramid so you can see through, wait for someone to run into your trap, and edit down as soon as they enter your box. When you edit down to surprise them, your best options are to use your shotgun or a trap to kill them. If you have good aim, you should be able to drop down and finish them off before they have much time to react. Otherwise, the trap play is always a safe option. Just make sure you ramp over them to protect yourself while your traps do the work. The second trick is a new way to phase through somebody's wall, and it works 100% of the time, even if the opponent has much lower ping. Credit to IIMokeII on Twitter for finding this. All you need for this one is a flint knock, one build, and the confidence to jump into somebody else's box. For the setup, build a ramp above you and get the wall you want to phase through to one shot with the flint. For reference, the flint knock deals 131 or 138 damage to structures depending on its rarity. Now, look almost straight down at the bottom of the wall, jump, and shoot. The flint will launch you up into your ramp, pushing you forward fast enough so you phase through before they can build another wall. Just make sure that even though you're looking down, you're hitting the wall with your flint. Otherwise, you won't destroy it and phase through. To show that this works on any ping, here is Kai on 100 plus ping, phasing into the box of somebody with about 15. This next trick is a pretty minor optimization to using shadow bombs. This one comes in handy when you need to sneak out of your box without being seen. Let's set up a scenario. You're in your box in a packed late game. The circle was unfavorable and you have a long rotation to make, so you decide to use your shadow bomb for the rotation. You edit your wall and try to use your shadow bomb as you walk out, but you get chunked with a shotgun right before the shadow takes effect. While in shadow form, you can't do most things like edit, build, shoot, and exchange items, but you can open doors. So if you edit a door before using a shadow bomb, you can simply open it in shadow form and jump away. And remember, shadow form doesn't end until you touch the ground. So if you can continue to jump off the side of structures or walls, you can stay in shadow form much longer and reach new heights. This last tip is pretty situational, but works nonetheless. Have you ever had trouble seeing somebody through the storm? You're trying to shoot them while they make their way out, but the blue lines of the storm barrier make it hard to see much of anything. 
Well, you can fix that problem by changing a couple of settings. Just head into your settings, click on the accessibility tab, change the colorblind mode to Deuteranope, and change the colorblind strength to six. This allows you to see through the storm much easier. You shouldn't have any problems finding and tracking players who are trying to escape. Do note that this is only useful when you're just at the edge of the storm trying to gatekeep players from getting out, or if you're in the storm running out and trying to avoid players trying to gatekeep you. So, decide if this change is worth it for you personally based on how often you find yourself in gatekeeping situations like this. Thank you guys for watching this video. For those who are new to the channel, if you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the others on the right side of the screen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications for whenever a new guide shows up. You guys are great and we hope to keep making videos that you all like. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One and we're out. Peace.